Final score this afternoon, the Utah Vipers 55, the Glendale Raptors 33. Player of the match brought to you by Rugby Athletic here to present the mayor of the city of Glendale, Mike Donovan. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Rugby Town USA, Glendale, Colorado. Big hand for two great teams in a great fight today. As you know, we give the player of the match to, or man of the match, even in this instance, we, it's what it's called, to two players. Because in rugby, you're going to end up playing together at some point in your life, because this great sport goes on as long as you want to be involved. Our families are rugby families. These are people who change their communities and move through life always as a rugger. Player of the match, for Glendale, number 15, Madison Slot. Congratulations, Madison. Tell us a bit about what you expected today and what you found. Um, I was pretty nervous. It was my first game in the stadium, but um, we put everything out there we could, and I put everything out there I could as well. So I think we have a lot to do, but we're on our way up. Where did you first begin playing rugby? Uh, I began at Colorado State University my freshman year, so I've been playing for about a year. We have any other Rams in the audience? <laughs> so you started playing rugby for one year, and you're a player of the match. Uh, well, congratulations. What are your plans for the future? You live here, or are you moving out? Uh, I'm in Fort Collins right now. I'll be living here in the summer, and then hopefully on to Seattle. On to Seattle. So you're going to go play for the Saracens? Hopefully in the future. So we'll see you again. Big hand for Madison. Thank you. This Utah team is something. I think we should uh, have them play the men. <laughs> Player of the match, Utah Vipers, Etamalu. Congratulations, you played a great game. How in the world does somebody tackle you? Uh, I don't know, they try. <laughs> Just aim for the legs. That's my weakness, get it, so. <laughs> Tell us about the Utah team and, and how you prepared for this game with the Raptors. Um, we started off uh, right after high school for some of us that couldn't go into college. Um, thanks to David and Olive, they started us off. And from the beginning, we weren't the best, but we developed even more, and then we got better uh, throughout the years. So thanks to David and Olive, they're the women's program, so. Well, what is the elevation where you play at home? What's the elevation? What city? Uh, Salt Lake City. So you're about the same as this. So there is no advantage because your fitness, normally we like to see that second half come around because people come from lower elevation. Yeah. So what are your plans for the future? Um, the plans for the future. Um, we are trying to go to the D1 playoffs and possibly championships. So that's the goal right there. Big hand for Adam Alou. Thank you. Player of the match. Now we have a little business to take care of. A little business to take care of. Ladies, three cheers for the officials. Hip, hip. Hip, hip. Hip, hip. It's really hard to do. Normally we give them one. And our rugby family, we're going to invite you back to watch the men vying for the Division II National Championship, playing in a derby across town against the Barbarians. We'll be right back. Hey, rugby fans. I'm down here on the pitch with Madison Slaw, the player of the game for the Glendale Raptors. She just wrapped it up with Mike Donovan, but we have a few more questions for her. Madison, I know you said you went to CSU. You just recently graduated. Um, I'm actually still at CSU. I'm a sophomore. 
Oh my gosh, all right. She's still a sophomore in college. We did not get that information. That's fantastic. How did you get recruited to play for CSU? Everyone has their interesting college rugby story. I know I do. And then how did you decide to start playing here with the Raptors? Uh, rugby was actually completely random. I played soccer all my life and then went to college and just needed something to do and found rugby and absolutely loved it and fell for it. So, And then uh, Glendale, I played um, Summer Sevens last year and I was at an Atavis camp about a year ago and Kit Wagner, she recruited me to play for Glendale. So. I'm here now. <laughs> that is a great story. I had no idea you were a sophomore. Fantastic. And then tell us and all the fans what some of your strengths and your weaknesses in your game, especially since you're a brand new player. What do you think you need to do to be at that top level? Because you are definitely going there at some point. I think I have a lot to work on the next few years. Um, I think my strengths are my speed and um, definitely need to work on uh, passing as always, just as everyone does. Um, I don't know. I think. I like to just let go of my mistakes and then move forward and move on with the game and finish it out. That's, good. That's a true athlete, true rugby athlete. Any rugby player can work on their passing, so you got plenty of years for that. Thank you so much, Madison. It was nice meeting you. Thank you. Bye.